Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the last episode of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations Case 2, The Stolen Turnabout. Well, it should be the last episode because we're pretty close to the end. It might be a long episode, but that's okay. The last episodes of you the case sure generally change, are. You made sure to change the settings from screen. Yes. Okay, okay, sorry. The only thing I had to change was that the it's recording at a higher volume than the stream was. Okay. That's literally it. Okay. All right. Sorry. All right, so... <laughs> yeah, so we're trying to figure out the identity that Lugatmi was being blackmailed over that we didn't want, that he didn't want to be revealed. Well, he's not masked to mask, as far as we know. If he was a blackmailer, that makes no sense. But if he's an ace detective, I don't know why that would make sense either. So none of these really make sense. None of these sense. make sense with what, at least what we were trying to prove. Right. Um, if Lu okay, if Luke at me is being blackmailed by this dude from this security company. Mm -hmm. Um, what would the security person want? So they wanted money, and then they're like, Ooh, we want your identity to be revealed. So it's like, why? Like, mask to mask would make no sense. Because. I don't, I don't think you really understand the core matter of the case. I don't, probably. Let's get the stupid one out of the yeah, way first. Yeah, it's not Ace Detective. Luke Atme was an Ace Detective! Thank you for the kind introduction. I am Luke Atme, Ace Detective. One embodies the nefarious forces of darkness, the other the angelic cherubs of light. I am completely lost. Someone get me a translator. <clears throat> but anyway, everyone already knows you're an Ace Detective! Come on, Nick. Are you even trying anymore? Actually, I kind of wonder myself. Okay, I think it might be Blackmailer. Maybe Luke Atme was like, Ooh, you should start stealing things! With the mask to mask. Maybe, like, he was blackmailing the employee, and then the guy figured out, and he was like, Stop blackmailing one of my old employees. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what That's Reggie awfully would nice of Reggie. Like. Board threatened to make Luke Atme's identity public knowledge. An identity he wanted to keep a secret. So just what was that identity? Atme killed Kane Bullard because he was afraid of his secret becoming known. What was the identity he wanted to keep secret? This is what it all comes down to, Nick. The identity that Luke Atme wanted so desperately to keep secret was his identity as... So you say a blackmailer? Yes. Correct. Luke Atme was masked to mask! Thank you for the kind introduction. Oh. What? That's my line. What's that supposed to mean? That's my line too. Listen up, you. This is what you've been saying up to this point in time. The witness pretended to be mask to mask in order to pin the murder on the defendant. In which case, you'll want to insist up to and beyond the day you die that Ron Delight was in fact mask to mask. I must say, this sudden change of heart doesn't reflect well on you. Wow. <laughs> Come on, Nick! Wasn't Mr. Delight the one who was actually masked to mask? Oof. Okay, I'll try thinking about this again. <laughs> we don't have to think again, because we Safe know. states. Luke at me was a blackmailer. Objection! Hey now, isn't that a little different from what you've been saying? You said that Kane Bullard was the one blackmailing Luke at me. Are you saying that at me was blackmailing someone else on top of that? Ugh, you have to admit, that does sound a little odd. It's not odd. It's the only thing that makes any sense. Kane Bullard was blackmailing Luke at me. But Ron Delight was also being blackmailed by a certain someone. So did you start to receive blackmail letters starting after this incident? Yes, just a few days after the Tear of Eminon heist. After that, I started getting the plans in the mail. I received plans from some very kind person. Incredibly detailed plans. Okay. See, I thought it would be like, both of them are blackmailing him. Just like, oh, Ronda, let you stink. Like, both of them were blackmailing him. <laughs> it's all you stink. Yeah, basically. But it's like a weird triangle. Mm. A blackmailing triangle. <laughs> detailed plans. In which case, that would mean that Ron Delight was actually mask to mask. That is what we are claiming. 
Someone else came up with the plans and had Mr. Delight steal his targets for it. <laughs> and that someone was none other than Luke at me. That would make a lot of sense, too, because if he did that... Shh! Silence! Cool. <laughs> now I see. It's all becoming clear. Wh uh, what is? When you were in grade school, you received the same report card every year. Careless with the tendency to jump to conclusions. Am I wrong? <laughs> How did you? <laughs> <laughs> you say that I, Luke Atme, was blackmailing Ron Delight. In which case, I would naturally know all about his relation to Mask to Mask. Well, yes. Ron Delight started receiving plans from his second crime onward, correct? Which means I learned of his identity when he committed that first crime. Good point. You certainly couldn't have blackmailed him otherwise. Ooh, coffee. In that case, let's see some hot, bitter evidence. During the first crime, how did Luke Atme know that Ron Delight was masked to mask? Didn't Ron Delight hide his costume in a trash can? <laughs> he did, as a matter of fact. <laughs> so maybe that. <laughs> that is uh, absolutely true. <laughs> like, I randomly forgot about that, and I was like, wait. <laughs> it was me a fact. <laughs> Mr. Wright, please don't just throw out any piece of evidence you like. The only thing a man should throw when he's frustrated is a hissy fit. Come on, there's no need to overthink this. How did Luke Atme find out who Mask to Mask was? That answer has got to be staring at me right in the face. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad yeah, I remember the newspaper. that. I think I see it. See what? When you were in grade school, you received the same report card every year. It gets into lots of mischief trying to be the center of attention. What, what do you mean? This newspaper clipping. It has a picture of you and Ron Delight in his guard uniform. It seems that Mask to Mask didn't just disappear into thin air. He just took off his outfit and hid it in a bucket. That... that sounds far too stupid to be true. <laughs> <laughs> Correct! With tricks like that, he couldn't fool a baby, let alone an ace detective. And that's when you figured it out, Mr. Atme. That's when you learned that under his mask, Mask to Mask was really Ron Delight. <laughs> What the? Wasn't he supposed to be masked to mask? Not only that, it looks like he wasn't even an ace detective. I can't believe it. He was just a slimy blackmailer. What a fraud! Trying to pass himself off as an ace detective! Why you? How dare you expose me like that? Um, you are a crime. I, I mean, I've never blackmailed anyone in my life. I'm a famous and proud ace detective and, and also masked to mask. Why can't you just understand that? <laughs> I'm afraid you are neither a proud thief nor an ace detective. You're a blackmailer and a murderer. That is your true identity. W w why you? How dare you even give me the- This is a nice escape I have to never soup the lonely deaths. You try to do it yourself with the big mouse of yours. Oh, fools, fools, I say. Not even you can comprehend my genius. Oh, just jealous. So long on. Discriminate. I have to commemorate. This is nothing great. An ace detective can't handle. Blackmailer, I'm taking away of all. This needs to be made to enough to make one laugh. This needs to be made into a rap. <laughs> this detective is weird. It's enough to make one great. <laughs> that would be great. It would seem we've finally gotten to the real answer. That was quite a performance by Mr. Atme. That was way harder to keep track of than old bag. Bailiff, please prepare a cell for Miss Actor Atme. Miss Atme. What? Why are you objecting? Also, didn't you just nail? Oh, he didn't nail down the verdict yet. The hammer that strikes too fast has no time to aim. Oh. What do you mean? I'm already prepared to deliver my sentence. Allow me to say one thing. Cool. I will be the one to judge. Um, you're fired. <gasps> you don't get much more in your face than that. It appears that your claws weren't quite, quite sharp enough, Mr. Trite. What? Wh where do you... It's true that you've proven a lot of things. Things like Luke Atme was a filthy blackmailer. And that he wasn't at Lordly Taylor that night of the murder. Um... That's right! That's why he has to be the one who killed Mr. Bolt! But... There's still one thing you have yet to prove. What's that? Just because he wasn't at the warehouse doesn't mean he was at the murder scene. Therefore, if you can't prove that this pitiful excuse of a man was at KB Security, then I don't see how a verdict can be delivered. No- NO WAY! 
Order! Order in the court! Well, Mr. Wright, this is it. This is the final round. I've got to prove that at me was at Mr. Bullard's office on that night. But, but, can you really prove that? That's long enough, Mr. Trite. I want to hear your answer. That night, Luke at me was at KB Security, and the defense can prove it, can't prove it. Ugh. Here's the thing. I wonder if this is going to be another one of those scenes where it's like, wait, and then Gumshoe comes running in, and he's like, I have the list that proves that this person. Like, I wonder if it's going to be like that, or is it like, no, we have evidence. Of course. Do you know what the evidence would be? <laughs> uh, nope. Nope. But I know I normally don't know this stuff. Oh, that's nice we can look at all this. Yeah. And the defense? Okay, attorney's yeah. badge, Magatama, no. the treasure exhibit poster, no. the Ami no. face gold statue, the, uh, the calling card. No. The camera data for the warehouse. No. The Shichishito. No. Security camera photo. Again. <laughs> when in doubt, it's that. <laughs> um, no. Uh, next. Blackmail letter. No. Ron's wallet. Can we look in it? No. <sighs> That's dumb. Uh. The CEO office card. It was used on the night of the crime at 1 a.m. I mean. That was Ron using it to go in. Yeah. That me was already in at that point. Uh, publicity photo of no. Damask striking a pose. Damascus brooch. Nope. Uh, Kane's autopsy report. Um. Okay. Newspaper clipping. No. CEO office buzzer. No fingerprints no. on it. Uh, Kane's list. Oh, that's the. That's the list of all the pre uh, prices yeah. for the treasures. Uh, buzzer record. So it that... went off once. At that, doesn't that doesn't prove he was there. So that was, we believe, at me pressing the buzzer to make Larry come, but Larry wasn't there. Uh, Ron's testimony from Damascus' second heist on, he was stealing as directed by blackmail letters. The sacred urn. No. Uh, the paint marks. No. And then the urn box. That's it? Oh, we don't have, we don't have anything. <laughs> we, we actually do, though. The defense can prove it. With evidence. Are you sure? No. Ha. Don't you worry, I'll watch over you. I mean, are you As you sure? break down and fall to pieces. Very well then, let's see the proof. Proof that Luke Atme was at KB Security that Just night. Just show his profile. <laughs> <laughs> he All right, was fine. there! He was there! This is the proof. It's true. That is very important. However, I'm not so foolish as to think that he will pass for evidence here. Mr. Trite... It's time you learn the true flavor of life. No! The flavor of my special Godot blend number 49. Well, Mr. Wright? It's bitter. Very bitter. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on, Nick! Don't give up now! What do I do? If I make a mistake here, it's over. No! It's not over! We just take a bit of a penalty. Uh, I... I can't prove it. Just as I thought. But, if we hear more of Detective Atme's testimony... Objection. Unfortunately, that's as far as you go, Mr. What? Trite. What do you mean? I won't allow for any more testimony. That's what I mean. Well, you're being a filthy prosecutor. What? Have you forgotten? Luke Atme's here after we interrupted his own trial. And you have failed to prove that he committed the murder. I think it's time for this witness to return to his own trial and face his guilty verdict as mask to mask. No! Well now, Sir Lawyer, it seems that love wins out in the end after all. I am the Ace Detective as well as mask to mask. My verdict will verify that. Just as Ron Delights will verify that he is the true murderer. I declare that with the full force of my Ace Detectiveness. Uh. Order! Order in the court! That's enough deliberation over this witness. I can't believe this. At this rate, Ron is- Don't give up now, Nick! We still have tomorrow. We can look for more evidence, and- By then, it'll be too late. Huh? Why? Because we didn't want to put- Double jeopardy. Because we didn't want to put three trial periods <laughs> in one. <laughs> one of the basic rules of any court of law. Double jeopardy? Should a defendant be tried and found innocent in court, 
That defendant cannot be tried again for the same crime. This is a fundamental rule of all courts. And it applies to this witness as much as it applies to anyone else. Mr. Atme will be found guilty in a matter of minutes. Guilty as mask to mask. Which means... He will be innocent as far as the murder of Kane Bullard is concerned. No way! The fact that you were unable to prove Mr. Atme's guilt of that crime here... Oh, is this an instant game over? <laughs> ...means that he will never again be tried as Kane Bullard's murderer. Perhaps. Uh. Ah! <laughs> Now there's nothing I can possibly do to win. Even if Ron is proclaimed to be innocent, the real killer, Luke Atme, will go free. You have cross-examined every statement the witness has made here today. And as long as there is no more testimony, I'm afraid I have to declare that there will be no further questioning of this witness. Are there any objections? <laughs> He's like, let me just take my coffee. <laughs> then I hereby end the cross-examination of Luke at me. What? I think I see it. Your Honor, when you were in a, when you were a child, this is what was when you were in a child. <laughs> That's a horrible typo. <laughs> I'm assuming this is Desiree, <laughs> but Your Honor, when you were a child, this was what was on your report card each year. Has poor hearing and often makes mistakes as a result. <laughs> How did you? Phoenix. Oh, I know who it is. Raise your head up high. Have you forgotten what I used to tell you? A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets. That voice. Thank no you, Maya. way! Thank you, Maya, for channeling. Long time no see, Phoenix. M Mia! Everyone's just like, who's this? <laughs> this is the true power of the Korean channeling technique. I know that it's really Maya who's standing before me, but right now she's my mentor, Mia Fey. Now, let's do this. But there's nothing more we can do, Mia. Without any more testimony, I can't cross-examine. Not yet. The testimony's not over yet. W what do you mean? Your Honor, just as you said, uh, just now you said something very interesting. You have cross-examined every statement the witness has made here today. Yes, that's true, but. Unfortunately, Your Honor, you are forgetting something. Earlier, after the last cross-examination, this witness made a number of remarks. Well now, Sir Lawyer, it seems that love wins out in the end, after all. I am the ace detective as well as Mask to Mask. My verdict will verify that. Just as Ron Delights will verify that he is the true murderer. I declare that with the full force of my ace detectiveness. Yes, but these comments appear to have no importance whatso- very well, then we shall prove their importance via cross-examination. At any rate, as long as the witnesses made these remarks, we, the defense, assert our right to question them. Is that all right with you, prosecutor? Is something the matter, Mr. Godot? Ah, uh, nothing. Maybe he knew it. Oh, Sir Lawyer, it looks like you're one step too late. If you think such falsehoods will do me anything to me, look at- Let's hear it. Huh? It's true that the witness made some remarks. So then, let's hear this last bit of cross-examination. Really I wonder, does, did he like, know Mia or something in college? Was it like one of those weird things where it's like, oh, I remember you. Or, <laughs> wait, is, in the game, do they do they now notice like M Maya transforming? Or is they it... kind of have like in the Steel Samurai case. I know the Steel Penny Samurai Penny, noticed. Penny's just like, what the heck? She's like, what? <laughs> but um, the others, they're like, yeah, whatever. For the most part, it's like, yeah, that. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, I'm but in this game, yeah, they definitely know. Okay, so maybe it's like something like I remember. <laughs> or he's I just like, what the heck? <laughs> this girl just turned into an older girl. <laughs> maybe we should hear this. <laughs> Let's hear this last bit of cross examination. M Mr. Godot, what are you? Very well then, Luke Atme. I'll allow the defense to cross-examine your earlier remarks. Wow. The defense would like to hear why you declare the defendant to be the true murderer. So please give us one last bit of testimony. I... Uh... Phoenix, this is it. This is our absolute last chance. Yes, Chief. Also, Maya channeling Mia has... I don't think she's ever really been in court. Oh, once in the she Steel Samurai case once. for Cody. Poor Cody. The last testimony. 
Indeed, it is true that I was not at Lordly Taylor. I had to leave to see about another vitally important job request. Didn't she do it too in um the the uh, red, white, blue case? Oh yeah, the, I forgot about the, that. The, that was like for two seconds, yeah. yeah. I'd known about the date beforehand, so I had this photograph ready. My brilliant deduction was what informed me that the true culprit was Ron Delight. And thanks to the keycard and wallet, it was abundantly clear that he was there. I was also able to make a deduction from the buzzer, which only sounded once. The button did not have any fingerprints on it. Why? The victim would have left prints on if he'd sounded it, which means the killer sounded it. Mr. Delight was wearing his mask to mask outfit, which is why he left no prints. And the blackmail letter? The victim likely just mistook the color of the jewel. Uh. Zvari! Therefore, all the evidence points to that poor boy. Um... Okay. This testimony actually seems to hold up pretty well. The witness's earlier remarks do not appear to have been hastily prepared. All of his points have been explained, and none of them seem to contradict anything. But of course. But, how did you know about the emergency buzzer? The police investigation documents went directly through me. And I always look over all the documents. It's elementary, Sir Lawyer. Unlike Edgeworth, who forgot to look at the uh, one document. No, yeah. <laughs> Edgeworth's like, oh, the stupid document. Are you going to make even more trouble for us now, Sir Lawyer? I will not allow any of your usual shenanigans, Mr. Wright. Y yes, Your Honor. We cannot postpone Luke Atme's trial any longer. This is your last chance. H hang on a sec. Just one chance? Ha! It seems that the party's about to begin. Well, Phoenix? There isn't any evidence that contradicts of that testimony! So it would seem. What do you mean, so it would seem? Listen, Phoenix. Pointing out contradictions? Doesn't always mean you have to present evidence, does it? At any rate, this is our last chance. If you can't point out a case-breaking contradiction, you lose. That's all there is to it. He's like, let me have my 17th cup of coffee before the trial Cup is. number 17. <laughs> the last cup. It seems like the time has come to put an end to this trial. Wow. You totally called it. I have to find a fatal contradiction in this testimony. I bet I can find it. And I need to point it out without presenting evidence. Yeah, we can Which find means it. all I can do is find the contradictory remark and press it. Remember, you only get one chance. Do we only get one chance or is it like penalty? If So here's how it works. Mm -hmm. This is an insanely long testimony. Instead of presenting evidence, you have to press one statement. And if you press the wrong statement, it's game over. Okay, so we'll save state. Cool. Very well, Mr. Wright. Please begin your final cross-examination. We'll, we'll read over it. I think this might be the longest testimony I've seen in the series. Really? Potentially. How many statements is it? It's like 11 statements or something. Okay, so... It is true I was not at Lordy Taylor. That's fine. I had to leave to see about another vitally important job request. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to that. I had known about the date beforehand, so I had this photograph ready. My brilliant deduction was what informed me that the true culprit was Ron Delight. What? And thanks to the keycard and wallet, it was abundantly clear he was there. Um, did he know? What, did he know that about the keycard and wallet that he had, or was it like, oh, thanks to the keycard and wallet that I stole and I used? No, he he. All of the stuff for the trial went through him originally. Okay. So, so he, he knew able, about it. Was able to make a deduction I was able from the buzzer. buzzer. It sounded only yep. once. The button did not have any fingerprints on it. Why? Yep. The victim would have left prints if he sounded it, which means the killer sounded it. Mr. Delight was wearing his mask to mask outfit, which is why he left no prints. Yep. And the blackmail letter, the victim might weakly just mistook the color of the jewel. No, Zvari, not. therefore, all the evidence points to that poor boy. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You were right! Okay. <laughs> the only ones that I was thinking about are um that, which How I does mean, that contradict anything? Exactly, anything? that doesn't contradict anything. Um, he had known about the date beforehand, so we had the photograph ready. Okay. Brilliant deduction informed him the true culprit was Ron Delight. I mean, he would have... If he had really been tracking him, blackmail everything, he would have already known that anyway. So, okay. Only sounded once, yep. Fingerprints, yep. Yep. Yes, he testified that. I think it's either that one or the last statement. <laughs> that the you want to try this one then? Yeah. Okay. We'll need to do at least one. Mr. Atme, about this last remark. Objection. Really? 
You still don't get it, do you, trite? This isn't the time to be pressing the witness on every little statement. We all pressed one! What? I said this before. There's still one thing you haven't proven. That this scum was in Kane Board's office that night. And now, it's time for me to drink my last cup. Spew it in the face. Mr. Wright, I will hold you to your end of the bargain. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well. Instant game over. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> the court sees no reason to further prolong the trial. Nor is there any need for more time to decide the case against the defendant. This case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts. This court finds the defendant, Ron Delight. Okay, well, that was fun. The accused will surrender to the court immediately, to be held pending trial at a higher court within a month from today's date. That is all. The court is adjourned. Poor dude. Eh. Oh well. Okay. So it's not that one. <laughs> so it's not that one. It has to prove that he was in the office. Right. Um, no, it wouldn't be that one. How would he know that he was wearing the Master Mask outfit? Was he there to hear Delight say, I was wearing my Master Mask outfit? When did Ron say that? I don't remember. It's it was been... this trial. Okay, then that would be the problem. Right there. Mr. Amy, about this last remark. Objection! Please tell me that's not... You still don't get it, do you, Trite? <laughs> is that also this, wrong? <laughs> this isn't the time to be pressing the witness on every little statement. Come on, that should work. I'm afraid you're the one who okay. still doesn't get it, Mr. Godot. W what Mr. Atme, it seems you have finally admitted that you were in the CEO's office on the night of the murder. H how can you say that? Let's review your testimony, shall we, Mr. Atme? The button did not have any fingerprints on it. Why? Mr. Delight was wearing his mask to mask outfit, is that correct? Indeed, that's what I said. My deductions are absolutely foolproof. More like your deductions prove that you're a fool. Uh, I'm sorry, whatever do you mean? For some reason, I'm starting to get really thirsty. When exactly did we learn the fact that Ron Delight was dressed as mask to mask when he went to the scene of the crime? Th that was, um... Just a few hours ago, back when my sixth cup was looking at me with a cold stare. <laughs> huh? Oh, did I forget to mention it before? I'm sorry, I just never had a chance to mention it up until now. Thank God you didn't mention it before That's that. right, the defendant had yet to tell anyone else this fact before this morning. Therefore, the only people who should know this are those who have been watching this trial. <clears throat> Do you understand now, Detective Atme? There is no way that you should have known about that. Ah. Ah! You are in the next courtroom being tried as mask to mask. So then enlighten us! Just how do you know about that the piece of information? The walls are really paper thin. <laughs> uh, well... Come on, this detective must have known about it. He probably had plenty of chances to find out beforehand. And it's these chances that I want to discuss next. That night, Mr. Delight was wearing his mask to mask outfit. There is one and only one way for Detective Atme to have found that out. Only one? One way, you say? Please remember, if you will, Mr. Delight's testimony. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there. It's him. <laughs> it's not twisting. For a second, my client witnessed the real killer. But Mr. Delight never saw him. There's no way to tell whether or not the real killer was Luke at me. Unless you're playing on an emulator, in which case it's pretty obvious! It's with that statement that I'll turn this case on its head. J just what are you implying? Mr. Delight saw the real killer, correct? Now if you turn that statement around, it stands to follow that the real killer had also seen Ron Delight. Impossible. Uh, yeah, that's supposed oh, to stop twisting at that point. It's supposed to stop twisting yeah. and just be like, hey. Detective Atme, you saw him ask to mask at the murder scene that night. You saw him when you killed Kane Bullard and assaulted Mr. Ron Delight. It was the only way that you could have known what Ron was wearing. What is happening? Is 
there an earthquake? Is he just- what is- Oh, he's just like- <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> he shook the whole building. Take a good look, everyone. Unable to find a rival worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself. Here I am, the tragic clown. That's the same line you gave yesterday. But I think there's a little more meaning behind it this time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was fun. <laughs> what an awfully complicated incident. Yeah. Kane Bullard was blackmailing Mook at me, who was in turn blackmailing Ron Delight. And upon killing his blackmailer, Mook at me tried to frame Ron Delight. Also, how the heck did the blackmailer get into Ron's apartment? <laughs> we, we don't, don't know! <laughs> <laughs> He then claimed to be guilty as Mask to Mask in order to escape his true crime. Like I said, I, I like to, um, I like the idea of, like, the mail where it's like, Oh, I guess I should my mailbox. Oh, I the wrong mailbox. Oh, ooh, pretty pale. <laughs> Wait, Ron did that? <laughs> yeah, well, what if they lived near each other? And then it's like- Okay, but here's the thing. At me read the letter. Ron read the letter. They both thought it was meant for them. Yeah. And to that end, he came up with this plan. To use the double jeopardy rule when making his alibi. Um, at any rate, it would seem we finally found the truth. Excuse me? I came perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man. For the besmirching him with the title of murderer. Don't ignore me! Oh, uh, I didn't realize you were there. Why wouldn't he be? Um, about the verdict? I know, you never committed any murder. That's right! I'm so glad you understand that. But, uh, I am... Um, I really am Mask to Mask! Huh? So, thanks to that trial yesterday, I'm innocent now, right? Uh... <laughs> what was it you said? Double Jeopardy? Now that you mention it... Sweet! I've been careless. <laughs> careless? This is great. Um, what do you think, Mia? As the defendant says, the rule of Double Jeopardy is absolute. A defendant can never be tried twice for a crime in which he was once found innocent. Then... Mask to Mask is really innocent? For now. It would seem so. For now. This is great. <laughs> now then, this court finds the defendant... NOT GUILTY! guilty! Woo! Hooray! Yeah! <laughs> well, they're really cheering this time. Boy, this is really lucky. Wait, uh, I... That isn't so good after all. You see, the thing is, I still am Mask to Mask after all. October 14th, 3.35 p.m. I really thought Just the White was going to be evil. Lobby number four. You thought who? I really thought Desiree was going to be evil. <laughs> I really <laughs> so, thought. So did I first time playing. You did it, Nick. Thanks, Mia. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because Maya doesn't call on me much these days. Oh? I'm just joking, Phoenix. Don't ever- don't take any- everything so secret- or er, secretly. <laughs> Seriously. Mia's having a stroke. <laughs> but on the other hand, Maya, she seems kind of lost these days. You mean, about becoming the master of the Korean channeling school? Becoming the master means saying goodbye to our mother. You mean Misty Faye? Watch over her, would you, Phoenix? Of course. Well then, see you around. See you around, kid. <laughs> yeah. Mia. Ah, Mr. Wright! Um, I, uh, I don't know what to say. Congratulations, Mr. Delight. You Th got, thank you so you much! You got off scot-free! Uh, no, wait. Nothing really matters anymore, though. No, 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 this is... Come on! Just be happy already! Maya. You've been cleared of the murder charges and got off his mask to mask to boot! But, in exchange, I lost everything. Huh? What do you mean? Stealing security information from KB Security, becoming mask to mask? I did it all for one reason, for her. You mean your wife, Desiree? She hates criminals more than anything. Come to think of it, they used the role then there, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> she was once held hostage by some robbers, wasn't she? She always said how oh, she hated sneaky criminals. I knew that, I knew that, but once I got fired from KB Security and lost all the money I had, she wouldn't have any reason to stay with me. I thought she would leave me for sure. So that's why you became Mask to Mask? Yes, but it's all over now. A broken bowl can never be put back together! Th that's not true! Right, Nick? Right! Really? 
Can we go back to the way things were? You'll be fine, and Nick can prove it! I can? I kinda wish you would check with me first. Mr. Delight, even if a bowl is broken, there's always a way to put it back together. With glue! <laughs> we don't have glue. No, you you just show the um the sacred urn that's been destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's actually what you do need to present. Right. <laughs> Here, you can just glue this back on! No big deal! <laughs> oh. Thank you, Mr. Wright, for trying to cheer me up. No! You don't have to put on a brave face just for me. Huh? I think I'm gonna go off by myself and think things over for a while. Well, wait! Mr. Delight! Farewell, Mr. Wright. Ouch. Okay. Bye-bye! You can always glue things back together like this terrible paint the job! sacred urn! Desi was the one who found this! Desiree, your wife, she's always believed in you, Ron. That's why you'll be fine. You don't have to worry about anything. Ah, oh, there you are! Miss Delight. You did it, Ronnie! You're innocent! I'm so happy! Th thank you! I appreciate that. But, um, I suppose you don't want me anything to do with me, do you? Ronnie, why didn't you talk to me about what was going on? I had no idea you'd quit KB Security. I never imagined that you were really messed to mask either. Miss Delight, what are you going to do now that you know? You're not going to really leave him, are you? Come on, it's obvious, isn't it? How could I ever let a wonderful man like him get away? After all, my bike's really fast. So fast that there's no way he could ever get away! Um, but didn't you say that you hated criminals? Hmm? Oh, I only hate people who act all cowardly and sneaky. Like that detective. I see. My Ronnie went and declared his crimes before he committed them. Like a man! <laughs> I just love a man who's so chivalrous. <laughs> <laughs> sure. This is so weird, but also it's like, apparently they're a good couple after all. <laughs> I knew I was right about you. Every day I spend with you is filled with thrills and excitement. Because of the bike. D Desi! Desiree, you really do love Ron, don't you? Nikki boy. Yes? I'm really glad I asked you to defend my Ronnie. Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for us. Oh, well, um, take care of yourself. You too, Nikki boy. I can feel my face going red. Mr. Nick! Mystic Maya, congratulations! Did you, <gasps> did you run here again, Pearls? <laughs> Talk about bad timing. Mr. Nick, how could you? With another man's wife in front of Mystic Maya! No, no, no! no you've got it wrong! I'll never forgive you! Never, ever! <laughs> <laughs> did she just kick him over? <laughs> Just as the case came to a close, so too did my consciousness. <laughs> Ron said a broken bowl can never be put back together. But I know that's not true. I mean, just look. Aw, they're so cute! <laughs> Here's a perfect example they're of one exactly... that was put back together even better than Dude, before. Dude, I literally think I make Maya's face. Like, that face all the time. I'm just like, ah! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's a great image. That's so cute! Oh, Pearl looks a lot older there. Oh. Stolen turnabout. The end. <laughs> the, the end. <laughs> oh man. A brand new episode has been added. Cool. Recipe for turnabout. <gasps> is this gonna be cooking? Oh my gosh! I want to have there be like a chef. You know the. Okay. You know. Be the, careful what you wish for. You know how there's like the weird chef from Little Mermaid, the, like the Le Poisson, Le Poisson. <laughs> chef Louis. No. He's yes. Weird, his name is Chef, chef Louis. Louis. Oh. Yes. My bad. Yeah, the weird fish <laughs> chef that's like ch -ch 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 yeah. and starts chopping it's chef fish. Louis. What if there's some weirdo like that? That'd be so Again, cool. Or like be careful ratatouille. what you wish for. <laughs> Le saucier. <laughs> With the sauce. <laughs> Le saucier. <laughs> With the thumb. I killed a man. With, With this thumb. thumb. That's the that's the crime. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, which one did it? It's like, what was the murder weapon? His thumb! Woo! Yeah, so recipe for turnabout. We're gonna do that next time. Also, yeah, the stolen turnabout. Oh, yeah, there's the obvious prosecutor that would have been revealed. <laughs> that and he's on the box. Oh. Well, that would have been... That would make yeah, sense, though. Yeah, so, tune in next time. We start that, um... I don't think we're gonna meet like any of the new characters, really. No! <laughs> right from the game. Wait, get wait. Is it gonna be another one where it's like Lot of Hearts back, and here's this? Character?
character and um I, I won't say anything more i swear if lot of hearts back again I am you're like to... i'm not voicing her <laughs> i'll just be like she smoked for the past year hey guys <laughs> but hard. i had a really bad last year I went to become a like movie <laughs> movie, like, star, to movie star photographer. Got and hooked on some sm- drugs. Everyone smoked around me, and so I had like secondhand smoke for too long. In a year, she went to that. They were that bad. Less than a year. It's like seven. This is like seven months. Or actually, oh, yeah. I guess this case is almost close to a year after the last case of. Oh the boy. Second. Anyhow, look forward to recipe for turnabout. That's. That's a crazy case. I'm so excited. I'd probably say it's the weakest case in the game, but it's still pretty good. Oh, okay. It's like weakest case in the The, game. Similarly to case two of the second game, there's one thing where I'm just like... Case two of the second game I loved! I know, but like, there's like the thing where I'm like, why is Maya on trial if she was possessed yes. by Jafar? <laughs> yeah, the yeah it's true. similar. There's they like, really know how did this even happen? All the dogs. We're gonna figure it out like right away. Okay, <laughs> it's just like, are you serious? It's, is it as weird as someone shooting off a gun yes. to shoot off their gun to shoot off a camera? Okay, not as far fetched. Well, no, and similarly, then, and then it's just like Gordy comes out of the lake and kills. <laughs> you'll, you'll see. You'll all see next time. Look forward to that episode. That'll be very entertaining. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.